So today we're moving from our 40 foot fifth wheel into a 24 foot class C for a two month road trip. I don't know, I am pumped. Like this is my Super Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> but not everybody feels that way. Yeah, I'm a little nervous. <laughs> we have moved into... How many RVs have we moved into? A um, bunch. 43 foot fifth wheel to a 38 foot motorhome to a 30 foot airstream, 40 foot fifth wheel, 40 foot fifth wheel, and now, yeah, we've never done a class C, so 24 <laughs> feet, no slide. So for all the different RVs we've packed into, um, I, I believe I've seen three distinct stages. There's the first stage, which is Marissa's face when I pulled up with the airstream. First impressions? Small. <laughs> it is small. <laughs> it's actually had that same face when I pulled up the class A. It's the, oh my goodness, what, what have we done? What have we done? <laughs> yeah, I've had that face a few times. And then there's the, we get into it, we walk around, we start opening cabinets, and we start, you get the, okay, I think we could do this kind of phase. And then we get into phase three, which is what we're in right now, is when we actually start <laughs> figuring out where things are going to go, and we're back to the, oh my goodness, <laughs> what have we done? Because that cavernous space we thought we had is all going to a trash can. We are still figuring out where things are going to go. You're gonna how do, much we can actually bring. How much we can bring. You're going to be a part of this right. with us today. Let's take a look around first. Let's look at the spaces we have to put stuff in. All right. We we've have. lived tiny before, but I don't think we've ever lived this tiny for this amount of time. So just really trying to think what are our, we have to have, would be nice to have, and what can we say, see it in two months too. So I think at step one, we look at the space to get a realistic idea in our head. What do we use daily? What do we use weekly? What do we use monthly? What do we use once or twice a year? So, cause like the stuff at the bottom of that list, the daily and the weekly probably coming with us, but the monthly maybe yearly or by month, like not even, that's not even coming. There's like, there's just no way. Not a lot of counter space in here. Yeah. <laughs> We got like two inches of counter space. Um, so, and that's just the pros and cons of this model. If you got a longer one, obviously you'd have more counter space, but uh, yeah. Because we'll go through some of the principles too of living small packing light. And one of those is protect the flat. Like you want to pack things and stack things. And I would normally say protect the flat for our countertop, but um, so that one really is not going to come into play <laughs> too much. This is cavernous. Really, and that seems like a good thing. Cavernous spaces are not always a good thing in an RV. Yeah, but then you don't want to like overload it too. So it's like- Yeah, let's put a whole bunch of books. Yeah, right here. don't ask us how we know that. <laughs> what do you mean our cabinets? The doors are falling off. No, okay. the whole cabinet. The whole cabinet's falling off? Let's get those books out. Yeah, that's pretty heavy, babe. We don't need that. <laughs> so, this is not in the back of the RV. But. We want to keep it 80% so we can access everything. We don't want too much weight. We want to... Look know. at you with the rules. That's rule number two. Rule number two is once it's to 80%, it's full. Because well, if you pack something until it gets to 100%, then you're spending all kinds of time, stuff falling out, stuff, if it's a drawer, it falls into the back. You can't find what you need. Well, I have been told that <laughs> multiple times. I'm like really overwhelmed right now because I know I want to bring everything and I know I'm not going to be able to do that. And that elimination process is really hard for me. I mean, every day we're like continually thinking through what we're using and getting rid of. You want to tell them rule number three has to do with that? It does. I don't know the rules. <laughs> when you have this small of a space and really even in a 4,000 square foot house, it, at some point this does apply. Yeah. Where you start getting over the 80% stuff's getting your way. When something comes in, something has to come out. You buy a shirt, a shirt needs to go. We're going to show you a blender. The old blender needs to go. <laughs> the grill, anything you're bringing in, something you, you can't just keep bringing stuff in and then magically, there's no magically anything, especially in this space is going to show up really fast. Also, this is actually cavernous too. Two things about this that aren't great. One is, I'll show you how it's cavernous, but this is the second thing, like to get. Now our Airstream, we loved, and I get it. You got different RVs and different price points. Our Airstream had a, a door right here. And some things you'll even see where like, it can slide out. It's really nice. And you can access all this space underneath here. But this RV, you can get to this space, but you gotta, you know, you're taking off all this. And then we've got this and then, like here's the space. It's massive. Look at that. That is our largest storage space in the RV. But you know, we have to do all these things to get to it. So we're, we're going through like thinking, what do we use daily? What do we use weekly? What do we use monthly? But we're also thinking the things that we use daily, we don't want to be storing under here, right? We want to be putting stuff, the weekly and the monthly stuff 
for the most part. Looking at the space, thinking about all that as we walk around the room. We got this little nook up here. I don't have a clue what we're gonna do with that yet. We've got two here. This is um so this is like the manuals and stuff like that. Well, we're not gonna we're not gonna access that every day. So that's gonna go probably you know under here. We've got this which I was like sweet. That is huge, but that's your trash can. That's our trash can. Yeah. Right? So that space is already taken. We have two drawers down here. Oh, that's actually that's really a really lo large wow. drawer. I did not expect that to keep going. So that's very good. Cavernous closet. I know, but I'm actually really impressed with the size of this closet. Obviously, we're going to hang things across the top, and then something is have to be done on the bottom to maximize. I mean, because this is a closet all four of us have to use. So, yeah, it's going to be interesting for sure. <laughs> Two more drawers. Are those super deep? Yeah, that's these are... deep. Okay. There's a space down here that I've already kind of started playing around with. There's no storage under the bed because the storage is outside for this layout that's that's the way they chose to use the space that's the world of storage. <laughs> this is is really deep cavernous storage back here but it's deep and cavernous so i'm trying to figure out what to do with that we do pretty well on bathroom stuff i'm hoping you know you might see yeah, Marissa with it, her hair unfixed for two months yeah, it probably it probably shows that we don't have a lot Should of wearing a hat grooming gear yeah but um grooming gear, i like it <laughs> is that the right term probably just hatting it up <laughs> well, lots of terms I've never heard in my life. Uh, yeah, so three shelves in here. This under here. Hooks, I guess, are towels. The, oh, there's, there's hooks right here for towels. Okay. I think the bathroom, I think it works. So I'm, I'm probably least concerned about the bathroom. Yeah, I'm impressed with the bathroom. Okay. Groundwork is in place. <laughs> this is going to be fun. Marissa's going to be, at least she's going to be in for a shock. I think she's getting the refrigerator stuff right now. Like, she's going to be in for a shock. This fridge is one third of the size of the one we have in the grand designs. All right, Hensley, see this pink box right here? I want you to put anything you want in that pink box to go with us in the class C. So we're gonna take the pink box. That's what I was doing. And we're gonna take the arts and crafts box, okay? Those okay. two boxes is what we're gonna take. Does that sound good? Okay. How's it going with you? Um, It's going good. I'll let you know in a minute. <laughs> and we've technically got one more spot for storage. It's gonna start raining here in a few hours. <laughs> the goal is to get this all done today. We're leaving tomorrow. I don't know yet what this is gonna look like, what's gonna go where, but we do have this spot in the Jeep. So yeah, I think for this space, I'm gonna define this as like our adventure space, like things we want with us while we're out exploring. This is our piggyback rider. Will allow a mutual and effortless way to carry your two to four year old child. It is a compact, lightweight, sturdy child carrier for toddlers. And then, uh, oh my goodness, I mean, we're heading to California, so <laughs> it's gonna be some, like some epic hiking, epic water activities. Like that's what I'm thinking. Let's see what we can get in the Jeep. Air mattress. And Actually got two containers, so life jackets, outdoor adventure stuff. Okay, so there's my two hangers. Done. I mean, I'm almost there. I've got just a few more things to bring in. You got Hensley's box, JJ's box, pajamas, underwear, socks, all that. Yeah. Okay, I mean, we're good on hanger space. Okay. We don't have to max that out. We have actually <laughs> broken two of these, I think, um, while we've been on the road. <laughs> <laughs> We just got these at Ikea. We used these in our fifth wheel, so just repacked and brought them over. But I mean, look at that. Look how cool that is. Yeah. You can just like it's organize the, the space. So this is what we do in the fifth wheels. You gotta bring the whole thing. We got, show them what you got. <laughs> I, just, dun, dun, dun. <laughs> I just changed to a new blender and you should have seen Nathan's face when this thing came. Now, just because we make these rules, maybe I should call them guidelines <laughs> for how we live small, does not mean we always abide by them, but we consistently see how it does make things more difficult if we don't. All right, so here's an example. So here's our blender we had for, um, I don't know, what, how long This we had was it? a wedding gift. So oh, we've what? had this 10 years, this Ninja. I mean, it still works, but it's not blending as well as I would like. So I upgraded to a new blender that everybody had recommended. And they did not tell us how big it was, so. You should have seen Nathan's face. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little bit bigger than I that expected. It's like half your height. <laughs> it's as big as our toddler. It's heavy one. too. I did not anticipate it being this, this large. Nathan said my new blender couldn't go with it. 
since we found this storage under here, um, it can go, but it's probably not going to have um, optimal storage. So what's what? We literally have a conga line of stuff here. What have, what have you got? I got uh, my toys. Have you been through that to make sure that's all everything you love? Yeah. That's your only box. Everything has to fit in that one box. It does. And this isn't even the full picture. Like it even comes with um. What is this, Marissa? What's this? I don't know. Does it push push the stuff down? <laughs> think? I don't know. It's not the whole thing. Still quite a bit though. I feel like I need to protect that or something. There you go, buddy. Day two. Totally ran out of steam. <laughs> <laughs> we're thinking there's no way we're gonna get this all done in one day. So we're still working on several things on the inside. I'm just trying to organize what she can over there and bring it over. But while she's doing that, I've actually got two more outside projects. One is the sewer hose. Now I, I happen to have this extra Valterra tube. So this one's still got one of the two nubs on it. What happens is this little piece right here breaks off. It's just what happens. <laughs> kind of works, but always, always secure it. Because we had a slinky come loose down the road. And uh, yeah, it's not fun. The cool thing is we already have an RV. We're like bringing things over from that RV to see what fits. We've got cooking stone. Oh, look at that. Like a glove. We have a residential one now, so it's not been as a big of a deal, but the RV stoves, the stones have been so helpful that things cook evenly. Stop bringing stuff in. <laughs> Thought we were done. Now we had some questions last video where I know we kind of came out of nowhere and said, hey, this is season 25 and everybody's like, cool. <laughs> it's season 25. You haven't had any seasons, technically. We said, okay, what makes a season for us? Uh, one option was to just do every year, which would mean we'll be starting season eight. One option would be, I guess, to just, I don't know, clump together maybe like winter, fall, spring, kind of time frames, that kind of thing. But really the option we felt like packaged things the best and made them the best for those of you that want to go back and watch certain seasons is we've, we've always technically called these routes. So yeah, we've done 25 different routes over the seven years we've been doing this. So season 25 is, means you can go back through and you can look at season one, two, three, four, and each of those seasons is going to be a pre-planned route that we're doing. So this season, season 25, is a road trip or route to California. 25 does have a good ring to it. <laughs> I do like the number 25. Okay, we were packed up. It took us two days <laughs> to do this. We were, we were ambitious. We thought we'd get it done in a day. But. This is, I'm going to say, this might be the hardest one we've ever done. I mean, I don't know about you, how you feel. I know the Airstream from the motorhome was really tough, and that was shocking. But it felt like it was more gradual and stuff. But doing this in two days, this was a uh, this was a real deal. Here, <laughs> so we're gonna show you around how we pack things, why we pack things, the way we packed it. Exciting to me. I want to say really exciting, uh, but Nathan was in his element. I mean, you should have seen him. So he um he is a, a magician when it comes to organization. <laughs> so he got it done. First, this real quick. I'll probably show you more about this. I have made some adjustments up front. Uh, we made a mount for the iPad. I've got this mount here is for the big camera. I've got in my hand the A7S III. Of course, we got dual charger USBs we put in there. We've got the TPMS hooked up. We've got a mount up here where the phone can go or GoPro or anything we want up there. So that's kind of the front cab area, what we've done up there. All right, so this is our kitchen pantry area. <laughs> So we got these dividers. 
we tried to put things that we're going to access on an almost daily basis right here. There are other things like the, um, like the blender, <laughs> but those are going like down underneath here. Cause that's more of our, like maybe once a week or a couple times a week kind of stuff. This is our, we want to grab it and I don't want to spend 10 minutes getting it out kind of space. <laughs> so coffee pot, you can see back behind it, the toasters back there too. We actually use that quite a bit. But this is uh this is probably the heart and soul of what I did. <laughs> <laughs> so these are the same containers that we use in our fifth wheel and we just brought those over and it's just a great way that you can see everything. It's all accessible. This is pretty amazing, Nathan. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> we have three different sizes here. So I did a combination where I knew we could still get things out. We can take both out if we want to. We can just take one or the other if we want to. So, you know, these come out and then back behind there, you know, we can do chips or things that are bulky, kind of sit, kind of sit in the back. Uh, where we can access and have some tall things in the back too. The beautiful thing on these, you can see everything and know what you've got, what you don't have. It's like a game of Tetris. It is. This is way easier than having it buried inside of a yes, cabinet or something or, like that. Or, you know, we, we always take things out of the boxes yeah. so that we can organize it. Otherwise, it's just a bunch of boxes stacked everywhere. Do we get these off Amazon? They're actually getting harder and harder to find. Oh, yeah. I originally bought them at Walmart, and now I haven't seen them at Walmart in forever. So I think I've had to buy them from Amazon now. I've slowly, like, accumulated these. I've started using them, like, in kids' tubs. and That's kind of a principle, too. I use these in, like my milk crates and then you've seen like the um, Ziploc containers. I try to use the same stuff over the years so that I can take those and stack and modify and already have it and not have to, you know, so it's good if stuff works together and you have a lot of the same things, you have more flexibility. We're not gonna show you underneath here, it's not super exciting, but we do have some things stored under here that we're not gonna access a whole lot. On this side, this one's not organized quite as well, but I still use some of these. This one's intentionally open because we grab those a lot. That's for the drink mix for the kids. And then this is kind of a catch-all. Not supposed to be a catch-all. How did that? How I that? knew you was gonna notice yeah, it. Yeah, I'm gonna notice that. We it don't. Won't fit. Let's just take three. Okay. <laughs> just leave it. I knew you would notice well, my anger. Marissa's, this is how Marissa organized. She walks in, and she throws it on top of something. And there she goes there, organized. And like I know some of you are like Nathan would drive me crazy. I couldn't do this. <laughs> And I drive Marissa crazy too, but it's like, it's a love hate though. She knows, oh, nice. she knows she enjoys having a clean, nice space where we can walk around. But, I, but I'm constantly, I am, I'm like, okay, this can go here, this can go here. So if, if you're married to someone like me, just give them a little slack. You do enjoy the fruits. <laughs> and if you're like, married to someone like me, I mean, I'm a work in progress and I get it done. <laughs> it's just not as beautiful as Nathan, but yeah, as Hensley says, we're free spirits, so. <laughs> All right, let's see, uh, clothing. <laughs> We haven't put a trash can here yet. That's where the trash can's gonna go. So two drawers underneath the stove. Well, we used, oh, we even used the stove. We used the stove for some of our pan and skillet storage. And then we've got utensils and spices. And this is gonna be like some cans and bowls and storage. And what I may do, I couldn't find one. I'd like a tension rod that goes across here and then kind of the cans just lined up right here. Like we've only got a dollar store to choose from close to here. So <laughs> they didn't have the tension rod. Did you get everything in the fridge and the freezer? Yes. This was all Marissa. At the last Is this 80% or what? At the, no, I'm embarrassed. Cause at the last minute there was like, you know, just a little bit left and I hated to throw it out. I, I know I'm, I'm my mother's daughter, but it's not terrible, but we'll drink this coffee on the way and you know, <laughs> That's not, right. that was she got it. it in here. Small stuff. <laughs> I mean, considering that was everything that was in our residential fridge, and we combined it down. So freezer. Well, that's good. Yeah. Nice and organized. I like it. All the stuff for all my smoothies. It's that whole top row of smoothie stuff. Oh, the bottom is too. Wow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like less junk more journey is a process like i never claim to be perfect at having less junk but it's a, it's okay it's okay that it's a process and i'm learning and i'm getting better every year come on i'm getting better you are getting better i'm getting better and that's all that matters so my clothes hensley's clothes nathan's two pieces of clothing <laughs> our day pack <sighs> And then the kids get, you know, their pajamas. So everybody has like a tub, JJ's bottoms, and I think it's gonna work. So my clothes there. Yeah. And then more clothes there. Yeah, so that fit everybody's. This is still, I'm not sure. This is kind of like a work in progress catch-all. 
kind of thing too. Right now I'm thinking the shoes that we aren't actively wearing are gonna go in this box and then behind that box, what is behind that box? <laughs> oh, homeschool stuff right now. So we're, I don't know, we're still moving it around. It's homeschool stuff in the background now. I don't know, probably not a ton to see. Bathrooms, it's pretty fixed what we can do in here. We've got this corner cabinet here. That, don't open that. Don't open that, all right. So <laughs> there's three shelves. What's gonna happen if I open that? <laughs> So, like, I didn't get time to organize it yet. All right. All right. So, I just don't have the organizational things that I need. Okay, so containers and containers, stuff? Containers, right. yeah. But, I it's mean, going to be tough. I mean, this is like a triangle shape, so I don't yeah. know. see what we can figure out. But. And literally, we took showers and got dressed and threw everything in here today. So, this is a work in progress. But, as far as the space, I mean, for extra towels and hair dryer and toothbrush and... Hamper's going to go under here. We still got to get a hamper. Shower's a shower. It does have towel racks right here. Yeah. So, that's nice. I yeah. love these Turkish towels. Like, for a small space, they don't take up a lot of room they're they dry really easily and they don't you know the big fluffy ones get harder to dry so these are great and so we just took those over from the fifth wheel as well this is still a mess it's gonna be organized some electronic stuff on the shelf right here it's like we've got our stuff we're gonna access every week two weeks or something is underneath the benches and this is kind of like the same thing yeah kind of like a catch although actually this is medicine some of my camera stuff extra coffee this one's actually pretty much empty so you know, get some paper towels and toilet paper back there and that kind of thing. The kids were going to try this. I don't know how they're going to act having their stuff in the bed with them. But this is <laughs> such a massive space. We felt like we had to do something with it. So, like, yeah, we have Hensley's three containers. Hensley's already gotten her stuff out, yeah. <laughs> That's a downside, too. But So, Hensley's got a pink one. The middle one's arts and crafts. And then the gray one is JJ. So, we're going to try it in sleeping bags. We mm -hmm. feel like if they had individual sleeping bags. Because they've never... They've never slept together before. They usually have their own space. So we're trying to like keep them separate and warm. Well, and also another reason like this, yeah. you know, if we flip that up and stuff, it's gonna be a mess with a sheet, so, and blankets. So right now, we'll try We'll try the sleeping bags and let you know. So outside, I'm kind of thinking through each space, what I'm gonna access and when and all that. So this is pretty much my, we just show up at our site and need to get set up kind of space. The leveling stuff will go back in there. The mat's gonna go in there. Sewer, everything but the fresh water. I did not put the fresh water hose in there with that. And in the main back area, we have a small storage area and a large storage area. And that's pretty much it outside. <laughs> but this is actually pretty large. Um, I can access it from the back too. Again, using this stuff that I've used in the fifth wheel, got the crates fit really nice here. And then these Ziploc containers, I've got several of them stacked in there. So next video, we're hitting the road, heading west. And then west, and then west, and then west. Until we, <laughs> we don't have any more. Until we yeah. hit some water. <laughs> if you want to see a downsizing playlist, I've got a playlist put together of all the other times we've downsized or we've moved from rigs. Whether you're <laughs> in a house or an RV, I feel like this is something that we're constantly having to, to navigate. All right, we'll check those out. And until next time, we'll catch you guys later.